Before the Colorado legislature paused the session due to the virus, lawmakers passed a bill repealing the death penalty. Yesterday, Governor Polis signed that into law. He also commuted the sentences of three men on death row. Our Rick Salinger talked to two mothers whose children were killed by two of those men. They occupied Colorado's death row. Nathan Dunlap, who killed four at a Chuck E. Cheese restaurant, Sir Mario Owens, and Robert Ray, murdered trial witness Javad Marshall Fields and his fiancée Vivian Wolf. What he's done is he's undermined and he's washed away the verdicts that people invested so much time. State Senator Rhonda Fields and her daughter Maisha expressed no less than disgust that their loved one's killers will now not be put to death. So did Vivian's mother Christine. You know how miserable my life was? 15 years ago, in a hail of bullets, the couple died. It was 2005. We want death penalty so I can have a peace of mind. And those, they are not human beings. In each case, the victims sat through the trials in which the sentences were death. But then the Colorado state government abolished the death penalty for future cases, and the governor replaced death row with life row. We're mourning today because justice has been hijacked. The governor's executive order stated, I hope that the victims will find some peace and will finally be freed from the public attention that has forced them to relive this personal tragedy over and over. That's hogwash. You know, closure was when my son was murdered. In Aurora, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.